freemmostation.com. Hey, what is up guys? This is Riemme for freemmostation.com and today we'll be taking a first look on Guns and Robots. Guns and Robots is a third person robot shooter in which you actually build your own robot. In this video we will be taking a look on the actual workbench in which you build your robot and of course the actual gameplay. If you want to skip to the gameplay right away, there's a little annotation popping up on the screen right now. You, you can just click that and get right into the gameplay. Alright, so here we are in the workbench. This is where you will be making your modules which are used to make to actually build your robot. So let's see, a robot consists of a couple of modules. The first one is a chassis. The second one is a body and the third one are your weapons and, you and then you also have a head but it's not really a module. So let's start off with the chassis. This is used for your movement. So you have the light chassis and there's a medium chassis and a heavy chassis and that's for every module. You have light, medium, heavy. Light one is fast and high damage and the heavy one is slower and with somewhat lower damage but obviously a bit more tanky. Anyways let's get started right here. Uh, let's go with this one, so we just double click it, drag it over here and you see this blue area, just click it, drag it in there and there it is. But now we're not done quite yet, we also have to pick an engine, let's see, we're gonna go with the heavy duty one, there we go. So this is our first module, now we click save module and well it looks like it disappeared but we actually have it in our inventory right now. Okay so for our body, I'm gonna go with this medium body. Let's see, let's just drag it right in there. We can hold the middle mouse button to actually look around a bit. And we can zoom in with that too. So let's just zoom in like here. I don't know what this turbine is, but alright. And now we also use a battery, which just goes in like that. Batteries are used for, uh, for power. If you have uh, weapons which use energy or this power, then you will need a better battery. A better battery, <laughs> that's right. Alright, so save module. Now we're going to create two weapons because our body is only capable of holding two weapons at a time. There are bodies which are able to carry three or even four weapons. But uh, we're only like level, level one I think. So we aren't capable of doing that quite yet. So let's start off with the revolver mechanism. And this is just a mechanism which uh, is used for rate of fire and such. So now we're actually picking a weapon. Let's go with the slugger. That looks like a nice little weapon. Safe module, but we're not done quite yet. Let's make another one. This one looks nice. And this is going to be a flintlock. There we go, that's a long rifle. Safe module. And well, a head isn't really a module, so we don't have to construct that one. So now we have all our modules for the robot. Let's get back into the garage. Just by clicking like, just by clicking that. Can we get rid of this? Yes we can. So this is my robot at the moment. Let's just create a new one. Here we go. Okay, so let's start off with the chassis. Just place it like that. And that's the module that we just created. And now for our body. There we go, just like that. Just drag those weapons in there. There we go. And you can see there's the battery inside. And there's the, the engine inside. So it looks it looks pretty neat, and as you can see, those everything can be combined and uh, used in a different way. So it's really what fits your tactic should be adjusted in your robot. So let's pick a head. I think well, this is a nice little head. As you can see, everything is rusty and old, but that's well, we are level one, so it should be. All right, so that's basically it for the robot uh, creation. We're gonna hop right into gameplay right now. Alright, so getting in the gameplay is just as easy as clicking this little button. Just click like that. Uh, some of your weapons are not loaded. That is certainly true, I forgot that. Some of your weapons are loaded. Are you sure you want to uh, join a battle? No, I don't. So this lits up and as you can see you actually have to reload or resupply your ammo of your weapons. I am not a fan of that. Sure, it's realistic, but it's just annoying that you actually have to do this all the time. But there is an auto resupply button, so we can just click that. And there we go, 300 out of 300 bullets. We can also select other bullets, but those actually cost a bit of money. So I'm just gonna go ahead with the free one. This is just fine for now. 
and we also have to repair our robot after each match. If you don't suffer a lot of damage, then you obviously, obviously don't have to repair a whole lot. But if you absolutely get destroyed, then you have to res uh, repair everything, and that could cost quite a bit. Alright, so now we're ready to join a battle. Let's just click right there, that's all you have to do. Boom, in a, in a match, it's ready, and we get started right away. So now I hope that this doesn't, that this doesn't uh, last too long, this loading screen. Let's just see. Well, it takes quite a bit, but... Okay, so here we are in the actual game. Uh, we have our two teammates over here, and we have 10 seconds cooldown uh, until the match actually starts. And there we go. Alright, so let's just follow this guy. He has three weapons. That's, that should be just fine. Let's test out a couple of weapons that we have right now. We have this weapon, which is not capable of hitting that such uh, long ranges. And we also have this gun. So it seems to be pretty basic guns. Let's go around here. And as you can see... Oh, there's a guy right there. Let's try to shoot him. Um, as you can see, as I move, just look at my chest here. It moves really freely and it's really smooth. That's really nice. I enjoy that. And a bit of lag. That's also a small thing in this game. But it's just fine. Let's just try to shoot these guys. As you can see, damage numbers are popping up. I love those damage numbers. It just indicates how much you actually shoot excuse me uh, and that's just very nice and oh we might want to get out of here we already lost one team member and as you can see we can also just move like this and shoot at the same time which is also very nice and it doesn't really affect our movement speed at all but as you can see we are not capable of moving right now and that's because they shot a chassis if your chassis is down you're incapable of moving if your body is down then you just explode right away if your head is down all your controls get inverted which is obviously very hard to control your robot so it's just a little downside on the game because now you're down and that's it and battles could last for quite a while if you're one on one with somebody it could last like a couple of minutes really before the enemy is dead and may that is well maybe because I'm in a low level server with other low level people and we don't really deal a lot of damage but some battles really last for a long time and it, it involves some skill to actually kill your opponents and accuracy is also a big thing in this game a at the end of every match you get to see how, uh, how high your accuracy was because if you have more accuracy you obviously d dish out more damage and if you dish out more damage then you are most likely to win and this guy is doing nothing can we Nope, he's our only guy alive. It's a three for three against one. That's not good. And he's not doing a whole lot. I think he's AFK. And as you can see, the enemy is just gonna shoot him. And he's not doing anything. Okay, so that also happens, you know, in any game, there are people who just go AFK. Maybe he can't help it, I don't know. This guy is just happy to take the score. And as you can see, even a 2v1 against somebody who is AFK, it just takes a bunch of time to actually kill him. And some people like that. I mean, sure, it involves some skill, and it's actually a battle against somebody else. Uh, and as you can see, 50% accuracy that previous game. We also get the little battle results right there. Uh, not with the accuracy, but... Well, accuracy is a big deal in this game. Alright, so... One thing I also noticed in this game is that matches could last for quite a long time or either quite a short time. I had a 3v3 uh, today and it was like the match lasted only 1 minute and 20 seconds and I had 3 kills. I had all the kills of the team. It was very very fast match and well yeah, I don't know that's just what happened and uh, oh this is a nice map to actually show that the environment is also shootable which is obviously it shows quality that's nice I like it if you can actually shoot the environment as you can see this box here you just shoot it and the box will explode those are the are these tiny little well effects really that just really improve the quality look of a game and the graphics aren't too bad either the map could be improved a little bit some textures are a little bit off but the robots look actually well pretty advanced and that's mainly what you want. So let's try to shoot this guy. 2v1. And as you can see, he's not losing a whole lot of HP, even though we're shooting him with two guys. 
and let's try to aim for the chest because somebody who is immobilized is just so easy to kill and there we go he is already stuck I believe yes so now we can just easily shoot this guy let's aim for the torso or the body really so he just instantly explodes and die there we go we got one kill we didn't quite get killed but well our teammate got it so I don't really care and as you can see I have one gun which uses ammo and ammo is located in the left down corner that little tiny tiny little uh, yellow bar indicates how much ammo we have left and the blue bar indicates how much energy we have left and if you find yourself running out of energy very fast then you should get a new uh, battery in your body so that you will either have more regeneration or just more capacity and wow this guy with the cowboy hat he is absolutely dominating he has three weapons that is crazy I also want to have three weapons I mean well wow, you're 50% strong and <laughs> this is a cool feature of the game as a robot you can't really jump but there are these little jump pads which actually, which actually launch you into the air alright let's try to get over there and oh that looks like a blocked road and oh we actually can't get back up there <laughs> maybe we can shoot through there can we shoot through there? no we cannot shoot through alright and what is this? you picked up a huge shield <laughs> alright so we got a shield let's see can we go through there? And it looks like the match is already over. This guy has three kills. Wow, that's crazy. And we only have 32% accuracy. That's not very much. But as you can see, only two minutes. This game was just over in no time. Even though some matches can last up to 10, maybe 15 minutes. All right, so that's basically it for this first look. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. Leave a comment if you have any questions. And subscribe to the channel. My name is Ryan May for FreeMMOStation.com and again thanks for watching.